Hey everyone, today we are going winter camping with a homeowner series. Over the last several weeks, we've been busy with the holidays and lots of projects around the property. I thought what better way to start off the new year than to go on a camping trip. We'll be heading out to Lone Oak County. It's roughly a five to six hour drive. They just got over two and a half feet of snow. We'll be bringing the toy hauler and some off-road toys. Now just to let you guys know, this house will be going up on the market. We'll be moving to a new map in a new house within the next several weeks. I've been in the kitchen here grabbing some last minute snacks. Looks like the wife got everything ready to go. All of our clothes, everything should be all set. Let's head out here to the garage. We do have a little bit more to get loaded on up. We'll be taking the 2021 Trail Boss there with the enclosed trail, which will be carrying both the Tesla Cyber Quad and the Snowmobile there and the GMC AT4. Yes, the lifted Duramax will be towing the toy hauler with the Can-Am. Now, this will be our first time going on a pretty far vacation using the lifted truck, but we'll have to see how it goes. I will be driving this. The wife will be in the Trail Boss. We do have to get a little bit more loaded up here. Now, the truck beds are full of snacks, clothing, everything we we need in all that winter gear as well but let's hop on and get the last of this now i do have the neighbors going to be getting the mail here for us so we don't have to worry about that and we do have a few that will be stopping by to feed diesel to kind of walk him around the block but to also make sure the house is secure so we're all good to go there and we'll get back on up here but i'm really excited to be back here going on a camping trip these are pretty popular and this is something i really do enjoy here it's a great connection to the homeowner series you do uh, work all the time you do a lot of yard work but at the same time you just got to have a little bit of fun here with the family but let's hop on the Tesla uh, cyber quad I'm not sure exactly how this is going to do here in the snow we'll have to see we do have a few extra chargers with us and I think there is a charging station in the town there this plugs into a wall you can't use a gasoline can uh, to give it more charge more power there but let's hop in the snowmobile and let's get that loaded up now for this 5 plus hour drive, we are definitely going to have to stop a few times there for the restroom and probably just to walk around here, but it might be a little tricky once we get closer. Two and a half feet of snow is a lot, a lot of snow, and especially when we have two trucks towing some pretty heavy loads that will be a, a bit tricky here, but we're all good to go. The house is all locked up here. We'll get the truck and trailers all ready to go here. The Duramax does have to warm up here, but guys, when I took this trailer out from the storage, the brakes were frozen off. On it actually uh, that was a good thing I took it out a few days ago because the brakes were locked up it took a few days of sitting in the garage to really uh, kind of thaw on out here but other than that we are all set and hopefully we don't have any other hiccups we're all ready to hit the road here we have a five to six hour drive in ahead of us no problem we'll just kind of set cruise control here definitely would like a Tesla that would make it a little bit easier here for us and the wipe is falling behind here the follow me mod is such a neat mod now if any of you guys guys want any of the mods there is a full list up on my website which is linked down below here and if you guys haven't already please hit the like button it really helps out the video a ton here but this Duramax with a five inch lift this will be our first time getting to tow uh, the toy hauler here with it it's going to be a pretty interesting ride but like it did touch upon guys we are putting the house and the ranch up for sale we'll be moving both to new map here which I'm really really excited for here but we have a long road in ahead of us uh, five plus hours and we'll catch you guys a little bit closer and we'll put the cameras uh, down for now and we'll see you guys back in a bit. Over five hours later, we've made it to Lono County for about four hours of drive, and we were on the highway, but for the last half hour, 45 minutes, we've been on back roads, but we are here in Lono County. You guys can see over two and a half feet of snow. It looks like the roads are pretty cleared on out here. Look at that. Even the gas station is snowed in. I think we came at the perfect timing here, but they said the entrance to the campgrounds is right up here at the American flag, and I think it's around $150 a night here. I think that's pretty fair deal uh, and we have a hookup for our toy hauler along with a few other things but look at that guys hopefully we don't get stuck here since we are going off road on the snow they are just completely snowed on in here but I'm up for that challenge I haven't really gone uh, winter camping in over a year here but let's get checked on in now look at that guys there is another camper over there we'll take a look at his setup but we'll get all checked in 
I'm all checked in here. They said we could set up wherever we want. But look at that, guys. Looks to be a Toyota Tacoma. Wow, this thing does look to be a TRD. It's really nice to see one of these here in farms. And looks like they have an off-road camper here. Maybe we'll, we'll have to get together maybe later on today at a campfire. Something fun like that. But look at that, guys. The Duramax in deep snow. Two and a half feet of snow. We might get stuck here. This is a toy hauler fully loaded. Probably 10 plus thousand pounds. And we do have the trail boss back. And hopefully the wife can navigate through hopefully we don't get stuck this is going to be tricky maybe if that truck falls in our tire tracks i don't think we'll have any problems here but let's keep on going you guys since it looks like there's even more snow coming down here wow this is going to be a pretty epic one for us but i'm actually thinking why don't we set up camp right here i don't want to go too far in uh, just because i don't want to end up getting stuck or anything like that but i'm thinking what if we set up camp like this we'll get the duramax actually we'll, we'll leave it fired up here but let's get the wife all ready to go here now i do want to get camp set up we actually want to unload these trailers here there's just too much weight and we can't be unloading when the trucks are detached oh yeah the trail boss she has a four high activated no problem though in four wheel drive once you get that activated it just keeps on going yeah wheels are spinning but there we have it guys here so let's get everything unloaded this will be a little bit of work uh, but i can't wait to be ripping that snowmobile ripping that tesla cyber quad even the uh can and maverick x3 this will be a lot of fun here we brought a lot of fun toys with us but let's first get this unloaded we'll get the maverick unloaded here we'll put it right out front oh yeah this thing is already sliding around here now our last camping video was actually on the xbox one which was a lot of fun here i I can't wait to do more Xbox content and there will be lots more. Maybe another camping video and multiplayer. I think that would be a pretty fun thing here for us. But getting all these unloaded is a bit tricky. And I think we might put a few beds over here. Or actually, we, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, for now, let's get everything unloaded here. But wow, it looks to be negative 4 degrees out, guys. It is cold. And we definitely need to get the toy hauler all plugged in there. They do have plug-ins. Uh, so we'll be able to uh, have electricity and not run off the generator which will be a little bit quieter for us as well but i'll actually get the uh truck and trailers in position here i want to get the them disconnected i want to get the weight off the trucks and the toy hauler has to be leveled and we do need to put the slide outs as well the campgrounds is all set up here. Took a little bit of time to get everything in position here. Now, actually, the slide outs are frozen on the toy hauler. So maybe we could find a local mechanic or we are just going to have to kind of crank the heat up here. Hopefully, they slide on out. But for now, they are frozen. Hopefully, the gas tanks and all those hoses are okay as well here. But we are getting quite a lot of wind and the wind makes it really, really cold here. So I put the enclosed trailer and the Duramax here. Hopefully, that kind of blocks the wind from blowing in. Even that little bit will help us out as we do set up a campfire later on today here now the wife did say she'll go to a local general store to pick up some snacks here and see if she could help find a mechanic here for us but what i'm thinking guys since we have everything out here i have all the winter gear on let's hop in some of these toys and let's go for a rip here i think we'll leave the snowmobile for last because we know we know this thing's gonna be a fun uh, to rip around here but let's hop in the can am why don't we start off here with the biggest one here now this is pretty big we do have huge tires on it and so far just kind of driving around in a few minutes it's been pretty good but you guys can see just slotting around here now camping is a lot of fun i definitely want to do more multiplayer content with camping i think that would be a pretty sweet thing here but you guys can see we are just slotting around pretty huge campgrounds in my opinion here now we are on a private edit of lone oak farms i really really do like this it's an awesome edit but wow we can't gain traction here that's one of the problems with uh wheeled uh any Thing with wheels in the winter just no traction even uh, almost trying to kind of slide into trees here we really kind of got to be careful but wow just look at that guys we have so much power to the wheels that if we just break traction and end up going spinning here almost spinning into a tree and we uh, spin out the other way there good correction by me but wow uh camping in the winter is definitely atop my list of fun things to do here i do want to do it a few more times maybe on the console as well i think that would be a pretty fun thing here but let's get on back to camp and i think it's time now for the uh, cyber quad here we have to see what that can do with the instant torque that might be just as uh, kind of interesting to kind of uh, move around here but let's hop on in and let's see what's going to happen so far though really don't have the traction problems just a little bouncy little bumpy uh hitting some ice spots here but oh you guys can see we are flying now looks like wow this thing just seems to be getting traction maybe it's the wheels maybe it's just how it's kind of uh 
uh, all set up there with the torque there. But you guys can see ripping around, no problem for this thing. And really, really got to be careful here in some areas. But winter camping, though, we do need to set up a campfire. And the problem with that is all of the wood is under uh, snow here. So we might have to cut a tree down. We might have to do some other things like that here. But with the homeowner series, we have lots of changes coming that I'm really, really excited for. But last up here, we do have the snowmobile, uh, kind of the best of the best for winter toys here now these are a bit pricey i paid over 10k for this one wow that was a pricey here but this should be awesome to rip around no problems looks like it is still a little bouncy yeah it looks like there's just lots of ice underneath we're still having fun. We're still ripping around here. The snowmobile, though, is definitely uh, the way to go. We just want a little bit less snow. I think the snow is just too deep here for us. We kind of keep sinking down, and that is definitely the problem here for us. But you guys can see we are just slowly going through, and uh, definitely a pretty fun one, though. But let me know, guys, have you ever gone winter camping before? I've gone camping a few times, but never in the, the snow, and I think that would be a fun thing to do here. Now, we did bring some snow hiking boots, and... Uh, I think one of the kids brought a few sleds as well, so maybe we could do uh, something fun with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's day here. Pretty fun one. We have about three, four more days here, and then it's time to get back to the house, get back to those projects, and soon it will be moving as well. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.